Our Saturday chef Ned Bell is here from Winsett Farms, also Four Seasons, a U restaurant. Thanks for being here. Fantastic to be here. It's my first time in the new set. It looks outstanding. I thought it's, I'd wear I was just the baby say, blues yeah. to, uh, to mark the occasion. Thanks so. for coming in all color coordinated right. for us. Right. I'll, I'll do whatever for, for global. <laughs> we love it. Okay, so uh, what do you have so, on um, tap today? Well, you know, halibut is in season. Mm -hmm. Every great restaurant, including a U restaurant, is serving uh, fantastic halibut. Uh, one of my favorite fishes of the year, but, um, you know, it's the sun run tomorrow, so I wanted to create a, a recipe that was kind of like a, a protein, um, protein burst, uh, and lentils are incredibly high in protein. Okay. Legumes, uh, they're called pulses as well, so lentils, quinoa, really, really good protein um, substitutes, or, or, or uh, just, you know, fantastic in salads like this. So we've got... Um, some halibut, which nice. we're going to sear. I'm actually going to get you to help me do that. Winset Farms uh, heirloom style symphony tomatoes. We're going to make a ragu with the uh, with the lentils, and we've also roasted some of these uh, maestro yellow peppers from Winset. Um, 375 degrees, 25 minutes. Peel the skins, take the seeds out, and we're going to make a sauce okay. with that. So to start, we have some of this. Have you ever had this olive oil, Dominica Fiore olive oil? Oh, it's it looks very fancy. It it well. It's, it's sort of fancy, but it's also incredibly tasty. Mm. Um, so hot pan, really important. Dry fish, hot pan. Then you, then it doesn't stick, and you get that really fantastic crust. So maybe I'll get you to in this pan over here. Now, whenever you put a piece of fish in the pan, lay it away from yourself so it okay. doesn't splatter. And right? salt side down? Salt side down. OK. Yeah, and lay it away from yourself. Lay it away. Yeah. Perfect. One more. Right. Perfect. Excellent. Oh, so it splatters that way, I see. Well, that's see. okay. That's, you know what? Two is enough, I think. Okay. So while, thank you so much. You're welcome. Um, while the halibut is searing, we're going to take a mixture of the uh, heirloom style tomatoes. Mm -hmm. Now, you could use any great um, tomato. Uh, we also, Winsett also has a, a concerto tomato that's uh, absolutely outstanding. Wow, so um, skins on just right in there. Yeah, well, these skins are incredibly tender. So what they're going to do is blister. You're going to start to sort of caramelize the tomatoes and then they're not tough at all, so hmm. they're completely edible. We added uh, a little bit of uh, sea salt to that. You're making me nervous, all the wiping you do over here. Well, I feel like I should be helping you wipe. It's a chef thing. It's, uh, <laughs> we're always trying to stay clean. So taking our roasted peppers mm -hmm. that are skinned and seeded into a blender, we're going to put a little bit, maybe you can take the lid of that off mm -hmm. A little bit of uh, honey, mm -hmm. a little bit of sweetness. Drop some vinegar in here, please. You say when? This is a uh, Venturi Schultz balsamic vinegar from Vancouver Island. It's just outstanding. Perfect. That's sweet, acidic, salty. Balance, okay. really, really important. Um, that was good measuring, by the way. That's chef measuring. <laughs> that's how we do it. Exactly. Well, that's why it's such a good secret. Wow. Perfect. So, as you can see from the tomatoes here, they're mm -hmm. getting nice blister. Whenever you get that caramelized golden brown flavor, right? It's, at, it's like an onion or a piece of fish or a piece of tofu or something like that. Oops, where am I? There you go. There I am. A little bit back. Yeah, there we go. There see you go. The, the color on there? Uh -huh. That's what you want. That's, that's the beginning of flavor. Okay. Adding our beluga lentils in. And like what exactly so. are beluga lentils? Well, you know, there's, a, there's tons of different types of lentils, and Canada actually grows more pulses than anywhere in the country, in anywhere in the world. So, really? we're, yeah, we're huge high uh, per capita. Or what am I trying to say here? We grow a lot of pulses. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, okay. So now we're going to go over to our halibut. Mm -hmm. Really important when you're cooking halibut. Don't fuss with it. Just let the pan do its job. Let the oven do its job because you want to get that golden brown color on there. So you can see a couple of millimeters there that is obviously cooked on that side. Exactly, exactly. So um, we're going to just crank it up a bit to, uh, to continue the caramelization. We're going to push aside here and maybe grab, sort of just grab a handful of parsley. Just grab a handful. Just grab a handful. Throw it in the salad. Just tear just, it up just, or just Yeah, throw just it drop in. it in there. Oh, just throw Flatly, it in. grab three more handfuls that big. Flat leaf parsley is fantastic. It's really healthy for you. It's a great substitute for things like spinach or arugula or anything That's like that. Awesome. Great job. That's enough. <laughs> okay. That's enough. So. Considering I missed the pan twice. Okay. A little bit of honey, a little bit of balsamic, 
That is good. Look at that salad. Doesn't that look incredible? Just warm, mm -hmm. the warm lentils. This is incredibly healthy. Without the honey, this would be a great vegan salad. Okay. Of course, you could put another protein substitute on there and it would be outstanding. We're going to plate this up really quickly. Okay. How of it is flipped, like so. We're going to take our fantastic salad. We're going to take our pepper puree, like so. It smells delicious. Right, and let's pretend that through the magic of television, this halibut cooked for another two minutes. Right now it's about medium rare. Putting it right on top, Okay. just like so. Perfect. Doesn't that look outstanding? It looks fantastic. That's a big meal. Uh, well, it's seared. kind of family style, right? So you put a, two pieces of fish on there, you could share it with your with your loved ones. Very nice. Just before your I could share it with Jay, apparently, up. who's jumping yes. up and down yeah. at the sports desk. Uh, WinsetFarms.com is where you can get more information on Winset Farms and all of the great uh, fruits and vegetables they have. Our recipe is available on our website, globalnews.ca slash bc. Look for weekend news, and you'll find all of our Saturday Chef's recipes there. And this one is on the, on the website. Very nice. Yeah. Thanks. Sun Run. Come on out tomorrow. Support the Sun Run. Eat healthy. Exercise. Very good. Thanks a lot, Ned. Thanks, guys. Nice to have you here. Great Let's check in back. with uh, Jay right now. I'll bring you some halibut over. You forgot your apron, though, this morning. Well, no, Ned's wearing it. Oh, geez. Baby blues, baby. The chef has to wear the apron. Well done. Well done. It smells marvelous in here.